Welcome to Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Well, today we will be talking about Gun Honey, Blood for Blood, Volume 2, Issue 1, published by Titan Comics under the Hard Case Crime imprint, written by Charles Ardai, A R D A I, I guess that's how it's pronounced. And artist is Ang Hor Kang. I apologize if I mispronounced that, which I more than likely did, is A N G H O R K H E N G. Yeah, that's uh, probably mispronouncing that, and I apologize. Excuse me. The first issue of this is uh, about someone I can't remember her name. As she provided a service. If you needed a gun or a weapon smuggled into some place, untraceable. Uh, for you to commit a crime, you to, you know, whatever, she would take that gun into you, into some place, like, she'd get it into a prison for you, and all that, and then leave. You could do the crime, and, you know, then it was all on you. Uh, kind of a simplistic little breakdown on it, but, uh, that's what she did. Uh, she was doing this because uh, when she was a child, it was her father and three brothers. Her father raised her brothers to be criminals, but she was a girl, so she didn't, didn't get taught how to do it. She was taught other things. And so this is how she was making money. And eventually she did something was brought into uh, the attention of the feds and managed to get herself out of it. And a family member was killed and all that. So the federal agent who was tracking her kind of fell for her and realized that the officers, you know, why she was doing it and she got away. Now, um, this book starts out with somebody breaking into a house, getting something, and then winds up killing the person in the house. And so then the agent who had, you know, was with, unless they were the girl, uh, Flies to wherever she is and says, "Hey, uh, yeah, you're being set up because the gun that was used that was left there was meant to uh, implicate her in this murder, and he knows that she didn't do it. And so we find out that she's trying to figure out the connection as to who this person is and why they're trying to set her up. And this is just." The first issue, and one thing about this is it's, it's a really good story. Uh, it is kind of crime norish. Oh, her name is uh, Joanna, by the way, Joanna Choi, I think it is. But uh, it's the old, you know, kind of pulp nor type stories. Uh, and this sets it up, the new thing, uh, a little bit quicker in this one because you already have the, the central characters in there know what she's about. So this one sets it up a little quicker than the last one and gets right into the action. Very well written. And, I mean, it's got to be pretty damn good if uh, Ed Brubaker... Uh, 
is, you know, impressed by it. Uh, kind of really good, really good art. And they really don't shy, even especially with the cover, they really don't shy away from uh, certain aspects of the of life. I mean, look at look at how good this art is. So, um, and Horror King does a very good job with the art and A S I F U R Raman. Compliments, compliments that very well with the uh, coloring. I recommend this book. Uh, the first one is out in trade paperback. If you want to get that, which you should. The only thing that kind of gets me is... They have back here the color and then the cover gallery. I'm not sure if this is just for number number one. Okay, yeah, these. I think this top one is at least for number one. Let me, let me find out here. Yeah, these are all F. Yeah, these are all for the first issue. That's a little excessive. I mean, I. Uh, but other than that, I have no uh, calm, uh, no problems with this book. It is very well written. And here is the. Whoops, don't want to uh, uh, ruin the back, ruin the ending, but look at the uh, advertisement for Volume 1. But I suggest you get this book if you like Ed Brubaker type of mystery, uh, noir type comics. This is an original type of story, which is entertaining and fun to read. I'm gonna give out. I'm gonna give this. A 4.25 out of 5 and say pick it up and enjoy because I know I did. So let me know if you've read the first series and what you thought of it and then let me know if you read the first issue and what you thought of that. Like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comments.